Well, welcome back. I haven't done a video in a while, and I really haven't done much lately. But I thought I would uh, show you something. Um, so, I've shown you my VMware 6 test lab. It was running on an HP Z800 I got off eBay. And I did a quick overview on uh, VMware ESXi 6. I didn't show you how to install and all that stuff. So I thought I'd move on. So I took this environment to 6.5. I did not like it. It worked. Uh, so I really haven't done anything with it. I just tried taking it to 6.7 because 6.7 was just released. And it would not go. The E, not, not even an E, the W5580 CPUs, the W5XXXs are not supported. So I had to go on a hunt. So, I liked my Z800, got a good deal on it, figured I'd make it a Z820. Well, after taking a look here, they're not cheap. Come on, what is this thing? So, they're not cheap. And, without a processor. This is without a CPU. Without memory. And I was like, eh, I'm not doing that. 1100, okay, 600. Okay, this one comes 16 gig of RAM, need more memory, uh, two processors, so there we go, E5 2620s, but it's still 600 bucks. So, I actually, uh, at work, we have these Lenovo D30s, I was like, yeah, let me see what they go for up here on eBay. So, here's an example, so a D30 is nice, it's got uh, 16 memory slots, and it's got two processors, E5 series. And as you he see here, you can get for 300 bucks, you can get this guy. So I, I actually, I don't have, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the link right now, but I actually bought a D30, and it had bad processors. It was like, I think these guys, the 2609s. I didn't even pay this. I paid like 250 bucks. No hard drive, no OS, no memory, but it had the two processors. I then went and bought a Super Micro that had memory, two processors, and I swapped the memory and processors into the D30 I bought, and I put everything back in the Super Micro, put some memory, and I Craigslist it. I just threw it out there high, just to see what, I said 500 bucks, let me see what I can get. Somebody you know, maybe offer me two, 300, because that's typically what happens, I'll really low ball you. Somebody paid me 500 bucks. So I actually walked away with a D30, and I think, um, 50 75 bucks is what the whole thing cost me so this is awesome so my new environment is running the e5 series cpus let me show you that so so here's here's my environment so esx six six seven we have e5 2620 processors when you look at them, it's two six core with hyper threading enabled for a total of 24 processors. The biggie is when I've when I've done VMs, I've never had a problem with CPU. CPU is never maxed out. CPU is always fine. The what what really killed me was the memory. Well, here we go. 128 gig of memory, so we're in good shape. Now I did on hardforum.com. I did ask what's the best way to lay this thing out. Uh, I wanted I want to do it the right way efficient fast and what I had was two SSDs three two terabyte drives and somebody said for me to use uh, there's a USB internal I said put a thumb drive install ESXi on that I uh, so I, I did I couldn't get it to boot I had nothing but nightmares of a problem with this thing I set these three up uh, the D30 has the Intel software raid I went in, I created a stripe set, no parity. I don't care if the environment dies, I'll rebuild it again. So I had six, uh, 5.8 terab uh, yeah, terabytes. And it was interesting. I boot off the ESXi installer and I saw these drives individually. So I I couldn't get them to go into RAID 5. I, so I just said, screw it. I just kept it all single drive. So, but anyway, 6.7. I'm really liking how 6.7 works. Let's take a look here. So, the system using default license for now. It's going to expire. 
Uh, you can get a free license with this as well, which is what I'm going to do. I have it. I just didn't put it in. Now, networking was a little tricky for me. I had a little bit of fun with this. This is a new learning curve. This is a little different than 6. So it's also web-based. I didn't like how 6.5 web-based worked. The 6.7 seems to work a lot better. Right now I have two physical NICs, 30 onboard, gigabit. Yeah, the storage, the data stores, virtual machines. So this video will be quick just to show you so I can move on to other videos. I'm going to actually record setting up each of my pieces for my test lab. Now, I already have VMs. Um, it's just the OS is installed. That's all I'm going to... Yeah, I figure you guys don't need to see an OS installation. You know how to do that. If you don't, you should step back and learn that before you go to do a lab. Um, so oh, this was something interesting so I'm running edge right here what's interesting is at work I have a test set up like this I actually have it on, a, on two Lenovo P710s which are a lot faster and really nice but anyway so I'm running Windows 10 here I'm running Windows 10 1803 at work on our work laptops we run Windows 10 1607 well I use edge and you see edge is working but watch this if I go create a VM deploy in new and I say test VM come down here uh, it's, uh, it's like what's going on well you have to switch off give it a second switch back go to Windows and say server 2016 we say next choose data store oh great it's not going to do it. So I was getting an error, and on hardforum.com I was showing it. It wasn't working. The the These fields were all empty, and I was having issues, and it gave me some port grouping issue. And I kept going to networking and trying to figure out port grouping and what's going on. I just could not figure it out. And somebody, so I put a topic up on VMware.com, and it came back that Edge, edge browser is not supported. And it wasn't working. I could get it to do it every time. I get it to do this video. Of course, it's going to work. Oh, well. So, but anyway, you should uh, be using Edge. And if you notice, look how much more full screen it is. Edge cut off here and here. So I'm running a 32-inch monitor. It's a 1440p. So it's not the best resolution, but it's nice. Look, look at all the room I got, which is awesome. So, this is really it. Uh, I don't know how much you'll really get out of this, but maybe a visualization looking at it. I'll show you network real quick. So, I have my network set up, which you'll get to see. I have a, a Frisco firewall router on here. It's connected to my normal network, which you know, my wireless and my normal house and everything. It has both NICs assigned to it. And when we go to this LAN, all my VMs including a second NIC for Frisco and no physical adapters. This is an internal network. So, well, that's about it. Well, let's move on. Uh, we'll probably probably jump into showing you Frisco next.